My administration, assisted by Police Chief Mike Glazer and our Kennedy City Council, works very closely with the Office of Emergency Management, as well as our parish, our state, and our weather officials to stay up to date on any tropical weather that threatens the city of Kenner. This teamwork allows us to make timely decisions in the best interests of all of our Kenner residents. Because of COVID-19, this hurricane season presents a unique set of circumstances, and we are prepared to continue our focus on the coronavirus while also closely monitoring the tropics. We are also ready to adjust our response to a tropical system, if necessary, with issues related to COVID-19 in mind. As your mayor, I assure you that we are prepared to assist all the residents of Kenner, all the businesses that are affected by the storm. We strongly encourage you to have a storm plan in place for your family, your pets, and be ready to follow the plan in the event of an approaching weather system. Thank you. In South Louisiana, June 1st means the start of grilling in the backyard, temperatures rising, and of course, the start of hurricane season. This year, with the onset of COVID-19, it is especially important to have your plan in place long before a storm is in the Gulf. In this video, we will guide you through critical points of your hurricane preparations that will protect you, your family, and your home. Right now, I'm standing in the Emergency Operations Center for the City of Kenner, where Mayor Zahn and other city officials will be working during a storm event. From here, city officials coordinate all emergency activities, public information, and communications with police, fire, EMS, and utilities such as Entergy and Atmos. This room is also used as a base for all city storm activities, with a representative from each department right here on site. Safety and emergency equipment is in place in the Emergency Operations Center. During the COVID-19 pandemic, the Emergency Management Operations Continuity of Operations Plan allowed the City of Kenner to work remotely. This plan will better serve the citizens of Kenner in the event of a major storm this season. The EOC building has been fortified to make it safer for Kenner's essential personnel who will be assigned here in the event of an approaching tropical system. This building will serve as the sleeping and living quarters for these employees so they can remain safe while performing their jobs for the city of Kenner. More than 400 employees will be on duty during a tropical event, including emergency providers from the police and fire departments. It's important to have your emergency family plan in place now and revisit it every hurricane season. This year, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, there are several additions to your emergency family plan that we'll address. Any storm that's predicted to hit the South Louisiana coast, uh, you should make plans to evacuate now, even if it's a minor storm. As we've seen in past, for example, Hurricane Isaac was a category one storm that came through the Metro New Orleans area and left some residents of Canada without power for up to seven days. If the winds get above a certain level, some of the emergency services here in Kenner might be affected. For example, ambulances and fire trucks, being that they're large and boxy in nature, can't really get out in, in high winds. Uh, police officers, we have a little more uh, freedom, when, it, but uh, don't rely on emergency services when the winds get up. You may not have any of us uh, responding. Put together your family disaster kit. You should have food, water, and supplies that will last for at least 72 hours. Once you have the basic items you'll need, consider any unique items specific to your family. A basic emergency supply kit should include the following items. It is now recommended to include additional items in your kit to help prevent the spread of COVID-19.
Preparing your home for a storm involves removing potential hazards from your property and having the proper emergency supplies available. Emergency officials recommend taking these steps to protect your home whether you evacuate or not. Portable generators can make life during a power outage much less stressful and uncomfortable. It is very important to choose a generator that produces more amps than you need for the appliances and devices that you want to use. And remember, the number of appliances you can operate with a generator will be limited. Further information is available from stores that sell generators and from online sources such as the Red Cross. Generator safety issues are all too common, in part because homeowners rarely operate their portable generators. Follow these safety tips for using a generator at home. It's important to have a plan for your pet, right Captain Clean? Your pet emergency supply kit should include the following items. If you are prepared with a plan for your pet, it will offer peace of mind during an emergency. Follow the guidelines and information provided by the city and the state for evacuations. Evacuations can be voluntary or mandatory. If a voluntary evacuation is ordered, consider your personal situation and follow the advice from officials. During an evacuation, the COVID-19 pandemic may result in more traffic as a result of social distancing and other protective measures. The best practice is to evacuate in a timely manner when called for by local officials and forecasters. If you evacuate to a hotel or shelter, please remember to practice social distancing, wear a mask, and wash your hands often with soap and water or hand sanitizer if water is not available. Contraflow is the realignment of interstate traffic designed to maximize evacuation in the event of an approaching tropical storm. Contraflow is divided into three categories, with residents closer to the coast given the go-ahead first to begin evacuating. When ordered by the governor, both eastbound and westbound I-10 lanes from Clearview Parkway to I-55 North in Laplace are used as westbound only lanes. Kenner works closely with Jefferson Parish and its Emergency Management Department during an emergency, and there are several free parish programs available to Kenner residents. JP Alert makes it possible for parish officials to send out alerts to residents during an emergency. This real-time alert system sends out specific instructions on things like evacuation notices, location of emergency shelters, and road shutdowns. You can choose whether to receive alerts through email or through text alert on your cell phone. To register, go to jpalert.com. If you own or operate a business in Kenner and your company evacuates during a tropical event, you will need a re-entry placard for you and your employees to return following the storm. Jefferson Parish has a re-entry system called Jumpstart Jefferson, and all businesses should register for re-entry now. If you or a loved one need assistance in evacuating in the event of a storm, Jefferson Parish offers emergency transportation for residents. Bus stops for special needs individuals will be announced by the parish during a storm event. To stay informed, please follow the City of Kenner on any of our social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, 
Instagram, and YouTube. KennerEmergencyResponse.com is the City of Kenner's emergency response website, which will provide updated storm information, links to parish and state assistance, and hurricane preparation tips like this video. It is very important to stay informed and to follow city and state guidance so that you can make the best decisions during an emergency situation.